a little surreal. I'm yeah. not gonna lie. It's a change of pace. Very much. It just shows. OK Poken is. It's growing. Fast. Tight knit community. We all help each other. We all love each other. And we all give each other a hard time when we do bad. And we all. And like most of us still don't we're know all, the game. We're all improving so fast. So fast. It's crazy. I love this scene. Help so me out so much. Suku. I wonder what it feels like to ride a Suiko. I mean, he's got that hair in the back. True, that might be a bit of an issue. I mean, it's probably just like long hair, but... It might be like wet though, since he's like a friggin' like water beast. He is, he is like a water dog. Alex with yeah, the CADC in the air. Aerial, aerial counterattack cancel. There is some pressure going on with Gela right Oh, Crossing him up. That was sick. I that was wouldn't have known what to do if Gela did that to me, that's for sure. Whoa. Gela hurting him. That's nice. it. Gela barely took over 100 damage that, yeah. that game. So if Gela beats Alex here, he, he's probably going to overtake him and take the number one spot from him. Potentially. Joe is definitely deserving it. He's putting in work. Oh, yeah. Alex has been slacking. I mean, yeah, DBSZ, but you can't just completely neglect another game like that and expect to keep number one. True. It does become harder with the more games you add. This is true. Alex keeps talking about how he loves, he just hates to lose and just has to be number one. It's hard to do that, man. It's hard to do that when you play four fighting Five games, games yeah. and then Overwatch on top of that. Oh. Alex did Jelly. some dull damage there, though. And some nice damage. Taking the lead. A good setup. Ooh, the rocks right in. Very nice damage. It Both was set up off that. Both have bursting out. Definitely not wanting to deal with any 50 50s that can kill him here. Oh, yeah. Jello putting shield pressure on. Oh, Is that, gonna hit? that might hit. No, no shield it. shielding it. They're both sitting in shield. They both pick a movement option, whiffing Jell each other. Jell still has his burst. Jell's bursting. Is Alex shielding? Alex shields. Alex shields. This is actually oh very my dangerous. Chip damage. Oh, oh my gosh. That combo. Yeah, it gets. That combo. This game's a lot closer than the last one. Oh, Alex yeah. definitely making the adjustments he needs to. Alex is one of those unique types of players that responds better against be like oh, more yeah. skilled opponents. Oh, yeah. He also gets better the more tournament drags on. Yeah, he definitely he doesn't he doesn't warm up at the beginning of the tournament or anything. He just kind of deals with it and Oh yeah, definitely. Somehow he just gets better. It's like some kind of reverse stamina thing. Yeah it starts off bad and then gets better. I mean Alex trying to anti-air him. Matchup looking like it's the other way around now. Yeah. Gardevoir theoretically can beat Suicune. Because Gardevoir's zoning tools are much better yeah, than Suicune's. No. At least in terms of the matchup specific. Gel has also done a lot. He has done so much work. Yeah. Oh, here comes the burst. Oh, did he shield Gell's it? jumping out. Gel was definitely shielding. He shielded. All right. Very then. nice. I feel like he used that a Jelly. bit too hastily. That doesn't pierce. No hyper beam. Oh, that's a lot of damage. That is damage. All bounce. Oh. A lot of cross ups. Jelly's got synergy burst oh, again. Pops it immediately. Not gonna mess around. I mean, that's the smart thing to do. Timer is a ticking. Oh, eats through that synergy burst a little bit. I think Alex is shielding. Shielding. Yeah. Honestly, still gives him some space. Yeah. Oh, oh no. That's it. Alex takes it. Alex takes game one. Round one. All right. I mean, comeback factors in this game, man. Comeback they, factor. They crazy. Really has the moist factor. <laughs> he has the he moist just factor. Pull things out of nowhere. Do crazy stuff. <laughs> yeah, like most of us. I don't think any of us could do. It. Yeah, none of us could do it. What Joe's doing still. Oh yeah, definitely not. Can definitely I... our most technical, definitely our most skilled player here. Yes, for sure. He definitely deserves the number one spot. It's just a matter of when can you take the games off Alex. 
Yeah, Alex. I mean, he's been he's been taking games off him. He won, I think, maybe taking two sets off him so far. Yeah, I believe so. The thing about Alex is, though he's not doing all the technical stuff, he's got so much fighting game knowledge under his belt that fundamentals he, are so yeah, his good. fundamentals are so good. Ooh. This oh into the grab. Nice read. A lot of damage off that grab actually. Oh yeah, for sure. This is actually very. Is that it? Yeah, that is it. All right. Joe shaking it off a little bit, thinking about it. Understandable. Understandable. TV show. I'm liking all these headphone investments. I gotta, I gotta get me with some of that. Yeah, they they help. If you get the right song, it helps. Yeah, I need to do that. I haven't done that Hogan yet. Hogan is definitely a song that I would use headphones for. Hogan is a song. <laughs> Hogan's a song. Hogan's a song. The song of Beautiful. Hogan. Oh, that was a nice grab. Speaking of songs, <laughs> <laughs> the beautiful sound of Suicune's combos. The beautiful dripping of the moistness. You can just feel the moist. Oh, that was for it. Very interesting exchange there. You can tell Alex has warmed up a little bit. Oh yeah, definitely. Ooh, what is happening right now? What it looks like is Jello's lost some of his confidence. Jello's going back to his, he's going to his uh, some of his habits from when he was much older at the game, much newer to the game, earlier on in the season. That's. He, I think he's still shielded. I think he's yeah. still shielded. Yeah, but it shields well. That that is, that's it. it. All right, Alex is up two games, but seems like when Jelly was uh, earlier on in the season, he would definitely be. Yeah, I also. I also think though, Alex is. Yeah, Alex is still playing good. a lot better because. I mean, so far in the tournament, he's been doing really well, but I feel like just now, change. he's starting to... Oh, yeah. It's, a, it's not a bad idea, especially when you're on in this circumstance. Oh, yeah, definitely. If it's not working out just right, Alex, Alex got it. it's always fair to change. All right. <clears throat> I really like this patch. It's got brought so many viability updates to support. Oh, yeah. There were some supports I'd never Several. seen before. People were like, hey, look at this. This one's... Oh, this one's great. This one's good. There's been a lot of Pokemon buffs too. I gotta, I gotta read those patch notes, man. Yeah. Suicune sadly didn't get any buffs. He definitely deserves it though. Yeah, he does. I feel like Suicune's the kind of character Suicune. that you can't buff easily. He's, he's, he's like the Jigglypuff Smash 4. Feels so bad. He's not that bad, he's obviously. Not that bad, no. But in terms of just like the updates and patches to yeah, him. He just doesn't get buffed. Yeah. Sitting there taking that Synergy Gauge boost. Finally oh. in. Try to grab him out first. Gardevoir not having any of it. Alex is very... Oh, okay, that was a good hit. Was that was a good hit. Still dropping shield a tad bit too early. Oh, that's it, man. Mm. That's it. Alex taking that right. One. I think it's interesting how they decided that certain Pokemon would be able to get synergy gauge faster than others. Yeah, it's an interesting mechanic, for sure. Because I know, I was playing Darkrai, um, and I perfected a Skeptile, like a Skeptile CPU. Oh, did you? And I got less than half Synergy Gauge, while the Skeptile got full Synergy Gauge after not touching me. <sighs> wow. That's crazy. Yeah, it's interesting. I'm not sure I like it, but I guess, I, I don't know. I guess it's more in-depth to the game, I suppose. As it does less, add depth, but it just seems yeah. kind of unnecessary in my opinion. Oh, big now, thing. Big, big, big nerf. Oh, he's, he's gonna gone. go to burst. He's gonna go to burst. Synergy burst. Oh, that was a nice read. Synergy burst, still debuffed. Definitely a nice read there. Very nice read by Jellid. Taking all that synergy burst. Alex Doesn't want Alex to get still status. any of it. Jumped over it. Oh my gosh, that hitbox. That definitely will not kill. Oh, but definitely not. But it's gonna make it a lot more even. It's gonna make it closer. Oh, okay, that didn't do as much. You still got, what, 210? Yeah, that's good shield. That's a good grab there. Joel, can he finish this? Yes! Oh, there it is. Finishes it up. 
Takes match two. Yep, he's saying he ain't going down. He's gonna put up a fight. Mm -hmm. We got Gardevoir doing Gardevoir things. Suicune just trying to get in. Suicune's here. Oh, that's a through. Hold on. Right as the hitbox is starting I to think, come out. I think Jellet's starting to warm later. up just a little bit now. Yeah, Jellet's feeling the warm up, that's for sure. Combo. <laughs> Jumps out. Umbreon. Yeah. Chipping away that support gauge. Doing a little damage. Jumping away. Alright, so... Jell just working on spacing and zoning yeah, out a little bit. I appreciate the patience from both these players. Oh yeah, definitely. Gardevoir's shield looking a little low. Oh my goodness. Attention. Big synergy gauge. Ooh. Big, big synergy nerf. Debuff, which is really good for Jell Yeah. Jell will be able to do this. Oh my goodness. This is very tight. Alex has to play so safe right here to not drop this game. Is that it? No. Yeah. Alex still at 28 health. Has 20 synergy extent. gauge. Surely he's gonna burst it. No, but now Surely he's gonna see, burst. So he couldn't do it as well. There's nothing. He's not, gonna, he's not bursting. That's it. Why didn't he burst? I guess maybe he saw that there wasn't much he could do, or that he wouldn't be able to catch up. No. Definitely bursting would have helped him. It would have given him 60 more HP to work with. Definitely. He I might have been able to even live that grab. Or maybe not even be in the situation that to get to get grabbed in the first place. Honestly, I don't know what was going through his head at the time. It's hard to really say. I'm not sure. It just seemed like it was the last game of the, the last game of the match. I'll be right with you. It was about five minutes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, and it was a back. It was the last game of the match. Um, you know, if Jell no wins, if Jell wins, we will be going to a game five. If, if Alex wins, we'll just be it. So we'll see what can happen. I had I have to root. I I can't I can't root for either of them. <laughs> I think if any of you have tuned into stream before, especially the last week, you know who I'm rooting for. But it's definitely I'm not gonna say anything. Cater neutrality going. <laughs> Only you can save. All right, this is is really interesting. I really like the option choice from Jello there. That option always being seeming to be safe on shield. Definitely. Big damage here. Very nice. Oh, yeah. Slightly whiffs the grab. It's okay. So it gets the counter. Takes a little damage out of it. Uh, not what he wants. It's a mimic cue, but uh, Al's just gonna jump. Jumps over it. That's Walk a combo hit. hit. Big damage. Oh, Guard of War in a rough spot for sure. 37 health left. Putting some pressure on. Making Guard of War pick an option. Number on snow. 18 health. Oh yeah, a lot of us got Alex to Alex finally some. bursts. Decides that he's gonna use it this time. He's gotta do something. Jumps out. Oh. Still shielding? Yes, he shields it. Oh my, oh, this, this is so close. That was a good jump. That was a great mix up by Jellid. Oh my goodness, chip damage. Oh. Mm. That is not safe on block. That was a rough position for Jell there though. He was getting a lot of pressure. He was getting a lot of pressure. Jell was giving a lot of pressure too. Oh yeah, definitely. That pierces. I, I still can't tell the difference. If I remember correctly, one you can input it or choose a certain input to get one to pierce counter or something like that. I'm not something, sure. Uh, I don't know. I know Caesar has an a. Uh, Caesar has a mechanic where, with X Caesar, if you input it perfectly, you get what's called like perfect X Caesar, and Ooh. it pierces through counter. Okay, that's cool and nasty all at the same time. It is. I don't know if it pierces through shield. If it pierces through shield, it'd be actually it, disgusting. Yeah, it would be super disgusting. But yes. it's it, to be to be fair, it is a tight input. Jelly. So maybe that's what Alex has. Alex is in a dominant fashion this round. Definitely. Trying to read an option. No. Pushing him back. Umbreon. Umbreon. Taking that synergy. Taking him out of synergy. Wall combo. Trying to read an option. Get up. Attacks out. 
Send me this right. I'm not gonna have any of it. It's no. He you out. got hit. Yeah. No. That's it. The hitbox is huge. So. Yeah. I'll do it. Oh my. Very good play. Very good play here. So now we need to get that. Joe got knocked out. He started running it back though. 